everybody, it's Cooper here, and welcome to another pickup video. And uh, this pickup video has a lot of cool stuff, mostly games. Um, I know in most of my videos I show like accessories and systems and stuff, but this one is mostly games. So I'm just going to jump right into it. And uh, I want to start off with a bunch of games that I picked up from a bunch of local pawn shops and thrift stores. Um, my girlfriend and I went out the other weekend, and we drove around to like all of the all the Goodwills and all the Salvation Armies and all the pawn shops and picked up a bunch of stuff. I was mostly going to look for stuff to resell um, to get bill money and everything, but um, I did happen to come across a few things for my collection. So I'm just going to jump right into it. These are really in no particular order. So first up is a PAL exclusive PS2 game, which is really weird to find here in the United States, but that is Dancing Stage Mega Mix for the PS2. And the case is kind of broken, so the disc always flops out, but that is complete. And I got this from a Salvation Army, and I actually got another PAL game from there as well, but I already had it, and it was UK Dance, and that one came with a silver PS2 memory card in it, which is Sony brand, which I've never seen, so maybe these are exclusive to Europe, um, but I will be keeping that and that game because I didn't have it. The other, uh, the other UK game is on my eBay. And then I picked up the VeggieTales Larry Boy and the Bad Apple for the PS2. Um, I don't remember where that one came from. Um, and then from a Goodwill for $2.99, I got a factory sealed copy of Siphon Filter the Omega Strain for the PS2. There's a slipcover here, as you can see it's still sealed. The slipcover is sealed onto it with a sticker there and on the bottom. And then right there you can see it was $2.99 thought that was a very awesome find. And the last time that we went to that that particular Goodwill, I found another sealed PS2 game there, so that was pretty cool. Uh, I've only been there twice, and each time I found a sealed PS2 game. Uh, next up, I got Time Splitters for the PS2. Complete. And then from one of the pawn shops, uh, I got Fantasy Star Online Episode 3 Card Revolution for the GameCube. And it was marked at 8 bucks, but I'm pretty sure that uh, he gave it to me for 4 That was complete. Uh, next up is a, another factory sealed PS2 game that I got, I'm pretty sure, from uh, a Salvation Army. And that is UEFA Euro 2008 Austria Switzerland. Some soccer game. <clears throat> and then Dance Dance Revolution X. Wolverine's Revenge. Chicken Little Ace in Action. And these are just like, most of these are just filler titles, but um, they were super cheap and I didn't have them. And then Disney's Party for the GameCube. I'm, I think I got this one from a Craigslist deal, actually. And then I found a GameCube preview disc which has demos for Sonic Adventure DX Director's Cut, Billy Hatcher, Splinter Cell, and Beautiful Joe, which is pretty cool. And um, <clears throat> I have some other stuff that I got from other Craigslist deals, so I'll show you guys those. Um, I, I did a bunch of deals um, recently, and um, some of the stuff that I would have shown but has already sold and I shipped it away, was an earthbound cartridge. I got one, someone replied to my Craigslist ad, and I met up and I, I bought it for 100 bucks. Um, I ended up selling it for 180 I think, on eBay. But another deal that I did was for a Wii Fit board with Wii Fit and Wii Fit Plus for 25 bucks, and then they brought a bunch of other games with it, and they gave me everything for 30 I think. And another game that was in there was Mario Party 9, disc only. I already sold that one, but the rest of these here, um, I didn't have in my collection, so I'm keeping these. And they are Harry Potter, years 5 through 7, the Lego Harry Potter, Samba de Amigo, Monopoly, Need for Speed Pro Street, Carnival Games, and Just Dance 3, which is the Target exclusive edition. And um, they, those were pretty much included for free. And um, like I said, I spent 25 bucks on the whole bundle, and I already sold Mario Party 9 for like, or I spent 30 bucks, and I already sold Mario Party 9 for like 33. 
So everything else was free, which was awesome. Next up from uh, from like a Target or something, got this little this little egg here, or from a GameStop, sorry. And uh, inside is a little Zelda figure, and she comes with a little stand and everything. And um, they have, I think, nine different characters. Um, there's like there's like three different Z or six different characters. There's three different Zeldas and three different Links you can get, and that was like two ninety nine, I think. Um, an eBay purchase that I made was for this uh, this Mumbo case for the N64, and uh, Mumbo is from Banjo Kazooie, and they made three of these cases. One of them has Mumbo like this, and then the other one has um, Banjo and Kazooie standing there. Then the third one has Banjo and Kazooie's heads with uh, it says Banjo Kazooie around it, and I already had the other two. Um, I've had them for a while, and I've always been on the lookout for the third one, and I it came up in an auction. With, to with with all with all three of them, I think, and I messaged the seller and I was like, "Hey, can I buy just that one? I'll pay half of what you're asking for the for all three. And he said, "Yeah." So, I got this. I think it was like six dollars, but I'm pretty happy with that. Finally got the third one. <clears throat> uh, next up, I took a bunch of stuff to a local game store called Cybertron Games, which is in uh, Claremont, Florida, and the store was really cool. Um, I've seen their postings on Craigslist a lot, and I was expecting their prices to be really high, but we got there, and the place was actually pretty cool. They gave me a decent trade-in on the stuff that I traded in, and um, all the stuff that I traded in was like really common, like a bunch of Atari 2600 cartridges, um, some disc-only PS2, PS1, Xbox 360 games that were you know, not worth my time to put on eBay even and like a couple Sega Genesis games and stuff but I ended up getting like 75 bucks in trade credit for all that stuff so I picked up some stuff here um, I picked up some other stuff to resell there's like two copies of Wii Fit Plus and a couple other things but I ended up getting a couple uh, boxed Super Nintendo games here I got Nigel Mansell's World Championship Racing which was only marked for 95 cents so the prices are pretty good there and I also got Baseball Simulator 1.000 or 1000. Um, th this box is pretty beat up. Um, it's got a big rip on the back there. But this is only $1.95 and it is complete, so not bad. And then I picked up three PS2 games for my collection. I got uh, Dynasty Warriors 5 Extreme Legends. And these are all complete. And then Everblue 2, which I've never heard of, but from the back it looks like. Um, that Wii game. I can't remember what it's called now. But it's like a underwater exploration game basically. And then the third one is Star Trek Voyager Elite Force Set Phasers to Frag. And this is my second Star Trek game. I think I might have said Star Wars accent, but it's Star Trek. This is my second Star Trek game for the PS2. And uh, this one was marked at 6. Everblue was marked at 15. And Dynasty Warriors was marked at 10. But the stuff that I traded in was stuff that was basically just taking up space. I was never going to even attempt to sell it because it just wasn't worth it. So I thought that was pretty cool. And um, I did the same thing at at uh, the other game store that I go to, Gamers Inc., which is a lot closer to my house. But um, I traded in a bunch of stuff there as well, and I got like 120 in credit there. And I picked up 10 Wii Fit boards and... A bunch of copies of Wii Fit and a couple of copies of Wii Fit Plus, because um, I do sell those on eBay. So I picked up all those, and I only ended up spending, I want to say like 15 bucks extra, like for all the boards and the games, and then plus these two games here. Um, it wasn't that much, so I picked up uh, Devil May Cry Fifth Anniversary Collection for the PS2. It's got the three games in here, and this isn't factory sealed. This is actually their seal, but uh, it was marked at 20. But um, I, I will open this, obviously, because they told me it wasn't factory sealed, but um, I thought that was pretty cool. And then um, this other thing I'm going to save uh, for near towards the end because it's um, one of the coolest things I got here. So moving on, a couple more eBay purchases. I picked up a complete copy of Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 3 for the N64, and um, this is one that I've been on the lookout for for a while, and I haven't found a decent condition copy on eBay complete for under like 35 bucks. 
And um, this one came up, it was listed as factory sealed, and it came up for a buy it now of 20 bucks with free shipping. So I bought it instantly. And when I got it, it was definitely a reseal, unfortunately. So I did open it up, uh, and I messaged the seller, and hopefully we're trying to work something out. I mean, he's convinced that it was a factory sealed game, but it definitely was not. Um, but still very cool to have a complete copy of that. And then I also bought a box and cartridge for Excite Bike 64, which is another game that I didn't have in my collection. I'm not sure if I have a manual for this. I'm going to have to check, but um, one more one more game closer to a completed collection. And then from the game store, the same place I got um, the PS2 games and the two Super Nintendo games, I picked up two cartridges that I already had the boxes for. So the first one is Virtual Pool. That was $4.95. I already have the box here, so I got that now. And then the other one was marked at $5.95, was Charlie Blast Territory. And I have the box there. So very, very cool. I'm really close to a complete N64 collection now. Um, I think I need like 15 games or so, which is awesome. And uh, another eBay purchase is a complete copy of Brunswick Circuit Pro Bowling. And he sent it in a protector as well, so that's cool. And um, this is in really good condition. <clears throat> so that's very awesome. And then um, from Target, this is on sale right now, marked down from 40 to 20, I believe. I picked up a brand new copy of Assassin's Creed 3 for the Wii U. And I actually think that I want to open this up and play it because Assassin's Creed, the Assassin's Creed games are pretty cool. I've never played number three, so I might might open that, not sure yet. And then from GameStop, I picked up a new copy of Game & Wario for the Wii, which is very cool. And um, this was 40 I believe, $39.99 brand new. And then um, I have pre-orders put in for Pikmin 3, New Luigi U. I have two of those pre-ordered, so I have, I'll have two copies. Uh, the, the new Donkey Kong Tropical Freeze, and um, Wind Waker, and, then I, and those are all paid off. And I just put in a pre-order for the uh, new Mario game. Uh, I only have five dollars down on that so far, but all the others are paid off, so I'm excited to get those, especially Pikmin 3. Um, let's see. Next up, another eBay purchase. Um, when I first bought this, I thought that it was complete, and I didn't realize until I got it in the mail that it was box only. So I definitely would not have bought this if I had realized it was box only. Um, it is my fault for not looking at the pictures or not reading the description, but I was going quickly quickly through stuff when I put my bid in on it. But it's a box for a silver GameCube, and this is the Mario Kart Double Dash bonus set, which I already have, but this one is different. It's a bigger box and it comes with two controllers rather than one. So it's pretty cool, but um, there is a problem. There's this huge crease on the front here. I don't know how well you can see that. Like, you can see right there. It's a huge crease, and it's ripped on the top right there. And that damage was not present in the photos at all. I went back and checked, and um, the whole front is like bubbled out on the top. So I messaged the seller. They told me that they're sorry, but they don't accept returns, and they're kind of being rude about it, and telling me that there's nothing that they're gonna do about it. So. I'm just gonna wait until I can um, have eBay look over the case, and they'll probably refund me, and you know whatever. I'll I'll probably get it for free, but I would have preferred to not have to not have to pay for it anyway because of the damage. But you know whatever. Uh, another eBay purchase, um, actually three eBay purchases here. Um, I got these. These two came from the same seller, so I'll just show them. These are factory sealed uh, Nintendo GameCube memory cards, and I believe these are first party, but they're different from the other one. But um, I have a 251 block here and a 1019 block here, and they do have the the seals on them and everything. They are from U.S. sellers. Um, I believe that they're official, but uh, maybe Lithium will know if these are official or not. And then the other one, which I'm positive it's official, is a 59 block one, so I have one of each, but the packaging for this one's different. And here that one is. It comes in the blister pack, just like I would expect them all to, but these ones are only blistered on the front, and the back is just cardboard. But, um, hopefully Lithium is watching this, and, you know, if 
tell like let me know if these are official or not. Um, but they all they are all sealed, which is pretty cool. And um, they're a lot cheaper than I was expecting. These ones here were like ten dollars and twelve dollars, I think, with free shipping. And then this one, um, it was on it was on auction, and I ended up winning it for like uh, eighteen or twenty bucks, I think, which I thought was pretty cool. Glad to add some sealed GameCube stuff to the collection. <clears throat> and then next up, another eBay purchase. This was, I saw this, I uh, buy it now for $29.99 with free shipping. And uh, it's an N64 controller that I didn't have, so I'm glad to get to get it. And it's the Japanese, just standard gray controller. Pretty good shape. Uh, the only gripe I have with it is that um, there weren't enough pictures to show like what all was included. So when I got it, I opened it up, and it's just the box and the controller. Um, controller's in good shape, but no insert, no baggies, no paperwork, anything. So um, I'm going to look at the description again because I thought that I remembered. Say I thought that I remembered it saying that there were um, the insert was included or something. But anyway, I thought 30 bucks was still a fantastic deal. This is one that I didn't have, so I'm happy to add it to my collection. And then I've got two things left here that are very, very cool. Um, first, I'm going to show you the one that I got from the game store. And um, I posted about this on my Facebook, and everyone seemed to be interested, so um, I thought it was pretty cool. And there's someone on Nintendo Age and also on the N64 Forever Forum that posted about this, and they said... They made a post and said, I got a a really rare N64 variant that not many people know about. And I had never seen it or heard about it. And about three or four days after I saw that post, I found one myself. And I was really surprised to find it. I have no idea how much it's worth. I, I did send him a message asking. And he said that none really ever come up for sale. And I'm only the third person he, know, he knows of that actually have one. And I paid $17.99 for mine, which he said was an amazing deal. He said he thinks it's worth anywhere between $20 to $40 more than the regular version, so somewhere between like $60 to $80. Bucks. But he also said you can pretty much ask whatever you want because none of them come up for sale, and no one really knows about it. But that is a variant of Toy Story 2. And the regular version doesn't have this up here. And it says, you're invited to see Disney Pixar's Toy Story 2. Your child's invitation is inside. So, this one doesn't have the manual, but um, it does have the invitation. And it comes in this little envelope here. And inside is a movie ticket to see the movie, which is pretty cool. And these are more common in, like, GameCube and PS2 games, but during the N64 era, these... You know, this wasn't a, like, a standard variant, so I thought that was really cool to find one. Um, and then there's a cartridge there. And the box was actually behind the counter up on the shelf, and I saw it, and I saw the little, the little yellow writing on the front, and I, I, re I recognized what it was. And then I asked for that. They said the box was going to be 10, buck <coughs> 10 bucks, which I thought was awesome. And then I went to the shelf and found the cartridge for $7.99. So 18 bucks to get that. It's very cool. And I just went on eBay and I bought a manual for three dollars, so that will be complete. So for about twenty bucks, I got a complete copy of this variant, which I think is very awesome. And then the last thing that I have to show you guys uh, has a story with it. <clears throat> uh, my friend Kevin, uh, non troopers here on YouTube, um, sold me a bunch of stuff out of his collection because he's saving up to get a car and he needs one uh, to go to college. So. <clears throat> He sold me nothing, none of his boxed items, because he, he is still collecting, and he wanted to keep all those. But he sold me some cartridge stuff and some disc-based games, and um, among them were some that I probably would have shown in my video had they not already sold and been shipped off. But there was Mega Man X 2 and 3, which I did sell. And then this one here, which I was going to sell, but then I went on eBay and I found a box and I bought it. So, I still need a manual. If you have a manual for this game, please let me know. But now I own a cartridge and box copy of Snow Brothers for the NES, which is very, very cool. Like I said, the cartridge came from non tubers It's in very good condition. And I remember he found this game at Goodwill for like four bucks, which is awesome. 
And then the box here, I've got it in a protector already, but the box is in really good condition. But like I said, no manual. And um, the box was, the box was pretty expensive. Um, it was like 190, I think, or something like that. But he gave me a good deal on the cartridge, so I ended up paying a lot less than you'd pay for a box copy off of eBay, which is pretty cool. So I'm very glad to add that to my collection, and thank you to non Coopers for giving me the opportunity to buy those games and help each other out. So that will, will be my video this time. Hope you guys enjoyed, and if you did, make sure to rate it thumbs up and leave a comment and let me know what you guys have been picking up and everything like that. So that's it for now. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.